Uh, welcome to uh, Mumford Road. Uh, we've just seen uh, a game here, uh, Thetford v Wroxham. Um, great atmosphere, a lot of people here tonight. Um, unfortunately, the result uh, went against Thetford, uh, a 4-0 defeat. Um, generally, I think, beaten by a lot better side, footballing side tonight. Uh, some really good football played by Wroxham. Credit to their supporters here who made a lot of noise. But um, their football was superb. Um, Definitely, look, we had a little bit of the Christmas blues here. Craig's joined me today because the players are a little bit upset back in the change rooms. But Craig's our uh, club coach and, you know, sort of responsible for the, the turnaround of things since Mort's come around. But uh, what do you think of this performance? Um, different to what we're used to. Um, we tried to play football, but I think today a bit of fatigue um, showed coming back from a Christmas period obviously the game called off uh, last week so we've had two weeks without football and obviously trying to get people in the train in between Christmas has been difficult um, but I think you've got to give Rock some credit um, I think they knocked the ball around very well their movement off the ball was good uh, and at times we just couldn't live with it we were about two yards off the pace throughout the 90 minutes really um, and we never really looked like we were ever going to get into the game unfortunately positives from the game you know we saw uh, Jamie Humphreys again put off some pretty good saves uh, probably reflected the game that they had probably 75% uh, of the ball and had several shots um, Liam probably had a chance Tan had a chance could have changed the game couldn't it if uh, we'd have put those away yeah at 2-0 um, we had them odd opportunities I think we had a couple of one-on-ones there that we could have stuck away um, Jamie again was superb he made some great saves um, I think George, again, he's a young lad, come in, got a few more minutes under his belt now. It's his second game, so there's positives to take with the players there. We've just got to get them in training and get them working hard and just go back to basics and go back to what we were doing before. I think communication is a, is a big thing in football um, and we let players run past us far too easily and don't communicate and pass it on. Um, we just keep sitting deeper and deeper and deeper and don't pick up the third man runs and that hurt us today a lot of the time. From, from, a, uh, from the sidelines... Uh I definitely thought we gave them too much space. We probably didn't respect them enough for their position second in the league. Um, on their performance, they're going to give Stone Market a, a good game, I think. Yeah, I think they will. Um, they've got some good lads in there, some good young lads, energetic lads that don't stop running. Um, their shape off the ball is very good. Their shape with the ball is very good. Um, and it's disappointing, really, because if you think the teams we come up against, Long Melford, who are second in the league, we beat them. Newmarket, who are second in the league, we give them a good run for their money. And Roxham today, second in the league, you thought, you know, we'll give them a run for their money. But I think we were second best throughout the 90 minutes and you can't complain with the result. It could have been a lot more um, without Jamie. So you can't grumble. We'll take positives away and we've just got to work harder. And next week we've got uh, the two Bailey boys back, hopefully Luke and uh, Ross. Uh, will that make a difference? Yeah, they make a good dif big difference because they want the ball, they command the ball um, and they can make things happen. They're very comfortable on the ball and it is, football is all about wanting the ball. Um, you know, too many people go hiding um, and they're boys that want the ball and they'll make a big difference. You know, we have got a good squad when everybody's available. It's just getting everybody available in training and on match days at the same time. And uh, league position, uh, we're sort of mid-table. But that's tight down the bottom there. There's If you've got a run of three or four games where uh, a win, you're creeping down the bottom, aren't you? Yeah, and that's the problem. Um, no disrespect for the boys, but you know we started to get them wins. We started to move up the table, and then we thought maybe thought you know that's job done. We're at the relegation battle now. We're, we're not competing down there. When actually we still are, um, because like you said, we're not that many points in front of people. Two or three games lost, you know, out of four or five now, and it puts us back down a few places. So we've got to pick ourselves up. It's not over till it's over. We've got to keep competing in these games, and you know, keep being positive and keep trying to take three points here and there when we can. So you and Matt have got some challenges in the new year, haven't you? <laughs> You've got to carry on working hard, working the boys hard right to the end. I think the first challenge is getting them training. You know, you can only do things when you get the boys training. You know, having six or seven of the first team here one game and then next, it's always going to be difficult. There's only so much you can do. So until they start training and putting that in, you know, you put the effort in training to make the match days a lot easier. But at the moment, training's, you know, become a little bit easy because the lads aren't here and the match days are coming a lot harder than what they are. It's always been a problem. I think it's a problem with a lot of clubs at the moment with the pitches and uh, the facilities. Um, yeah, a lot of rain. Um, trying to protect the pitches, etc., and train them. But there we go. Anyhow, um, thanks, Craig. And uh, I know you're trying your, your best here to try and uh, turn things around. And uh, the new year, hopefully, uh, we'll get some results here at uh, Mumford Road and away from home on the road. So, um, okay, thank you. Oh, yeah. Um,
uh, so my uh, producer here has just said uh, that we like to uh, thank uh, also everyone that contributed to um, uh, the uh, Salvation Army whilst we were uh, watching the game. And we had two representatives here um, collecting for the homeless uh, in Thetford. Um, which is very serious um, from my point of view it's uh, very disappointing that in any um, town of this size or anywhere that we've got people on the streets so if you feel that way and you listen to this pop into the Salvation Army buy something from their shop or donate a few pennies it's still January, February, March is a very hard time for those on the streets uh, and I thank them very much and I hope they've done well over and out from here, and uh, like hopefully you uh, in the next month uh, at Mumford Road. Cheers. Bye.